Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Yeah, that's right, girl, we're about to do another episode. Do you guys have crazy problems keeping your Siberian Huskies to stay in one location? Well, this video is gonna teach you how to make your Siberian Husky or your dog, whichever one you might have, to stay in one spot. I know there's so many people online that are like, well, if you pay $19.95 a month, I'll go ahead and send you my seven month instructional program on how to teach your dogs to do tricks. Skip that. I'm gonna teach you how to do all of the tricks for free. All right, how about that? All right, first thing that you need to do, obviously, is get your high value treats. That's the first step. And then after that, you're ready to start training your dog. Now, something important to remember, when you are teaching your dog tricks or you're teaching them to do anything, you're practicing your training, you are going to want to do this in 15 to 20 minute intervals. No longer and no less. This is because dogs will become bored with trying to figure out how to do things after a while. So keep it simple. You want them to feel like they're doing a really good job. You want to keep their spirits up. You want to motivate them. You want to make them feel like they're successful in all the tricks that they do. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You see so good, sweetie pie. Always make sure you tell your doggos good job when they do something and reward them with a treat. One thing I want to talk about before we dive into teaching your husky how to stay put is this. Remember, dogs are not humans. When we get older and we become adults we tend to think hey everything's easy we take these huge steps at a time because we're not babies anymore and we forget what it's like to not be a baby and that's basically what puppos are so a lot of people what they'll do the first thing they want to do is just be like hey hey doggy stay don't go anywhere stay right there that should not be the first step you take that is way too fast for a dog but i'm gonna teach you the first steps you should take so come with me we're gonna teach your dog how to stay right now. All right, so you got your Husky, you got your Doggo, you got your It's a Caduzzi, you got your Labradoodle, you got your German Shepherd, you got your Pitbull. So let's say you have a puppy. I know neither of these dogs are puppies anymore, but that doesn't mean I can't show you exactly how I trained them to stay. So one of the first things you need to do is get your dog's attention. So we got a treat in our hand right now. And both of them are like, oh my God, it's treat time. So basically they're both willing to, you know, look at me and I get their attention. That's the first step step here. Now they're basically like, what do I got to do to get this food in my mouth? That's a good sign. That means your dog works off of treats and you are golden. When you're working with your puppy, okay, they're going to be crazy. They're going to be going all over the place. You are going to want to get down on your knee. Now I have bigger dogs. Okay. And if your dogs are older and they're not puppies, you're going to want to keep standing up. You're not going to want to get on your knee, but if you do have a puppy, it's important to get on your knee and try and get on the same level as your puppy. So what you're going to want to do is Sit, okay? When you have your dog's attention, you want them to look at you. Eye contact is super important, okay? I know. I want you to stay. Good boy. All right, you see that? That was a simple, simple stay. I just told him to stay. He gave me his focus for about two seconds and I rewarded. That's where you need to start. If you have a puppy and you want them to stay, start right there. Let's do this one more time, okay? Let's do one more example. We'll do it for Gila. I want you to focus, okay? All right, sit, stay. Good girl. All right, I had her focus there and she stayed in one spot for like three seconds. That's what you wanna do. You wanna practice this over and over and over again. And as you progress, okay, as you progress and you go through each training session, you're gonna extend that time period. Hey, hip, sit down, good boy. Now watch, stay. Good boy. All right, we took it a little bit longer there. You guys saw that I did about five seconds instead of two, and he was a good boy, he stayed. So since he did, I went ahead and I gave him the treat. Now you may be asking yourself, hey, what if my dog isn't there yet? What if my dog, he breaks? you know, in that five seconds, what do I do? Do I scold him? No, don't scold your dog. You don't have to be mean or be mad or anything like that. All you do is you take it back. You just take it back a step. Let's say your dog, he, he breaks at three seconds when you're trying to wait for five. That lets you know your dog knows how to stay for three seconds and you need to work from that point forward. Now watch, let's try Gila now. All right, ready, stay.
good girl. All right, that was especially long. That was like, I don't know, seven seconds or something. Maybe six seconds. She was like waiting for me. She really wanted the treat, but she stayed in one spot. And that's what's really important. So those are the little steps that you need to take when you are teaching your dog to stay. They're not going to learn to just stay in one spot on a walk right away. You have to work inside with these tiny little baby, baby, baby steps. And this is going to teach you how to teach your husky to stay when you do eventually teach them to be an off-leash dog if you so choose to do that. So what is the next step, right? Big deal. They can stay and not bark or freak out for 10 seconds. Now you're gonna take it to the next step. Once your dog really knows how to stay very well, you're gonna say stay and you're gonna take one step back and you're gonna take another step back. Good girl, good girl. She just stayed when I took two steps back. This is the next step you are going to take, moving away from your dog, because the farther you are away from your husky, the less willing they are to listen to you. So this is something that you really need to practice. So let's do this one more time. We'll do it with Britney Spears this time. Go ahead and sit, buddy. Good job. Stay, stay. Two steps back. Good job. Good job. That was a good boy. So there you go. Now that teaches them, hey, I can stay in one spot. My master can leave my side. And as long as I keep stayed still, I'm going to get a treat. So let's do it with him one more time. Sit. Stay. Stay. Now he did get up at the very end there. It's okay if they do that, as long as you're approaching them and they've stayed for the amount of time that they needed to stay, you go him, brah. Now there is another step beyond this that you might be asking yourself, okay, so my husky stays when I walk a few steps back. Go ahead, walk as far back as you can in your house. See if you can get them to stay across the room. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's do it with Gila now. Stay. Good girl, good girl, that's a good girl. So I was able to walk across the entire room without her moving and she stayed completely still. So see, step by step by step, this is the kind of little baby steps you need to take before you can even take your dog outside and do this. All right, a couple other tricks that I wanna show you guys. Here's something else that you can do. This is a little bit advanced. This is something that you can practice before you decide to teach your dog to do stay outdoors if you want, but this is an advanced indoor trick when it comes to stay. So check this out, let's get a treat. Stay, stay. Stay, stay. All right, now we are in another room completely. Let's wait a minute. And there she is, still in her spot. That's a good girl, that's a great girl. That is the type of stay that you want before you teach your dog to stay outside. This is the type of focus you need. It's all about communication with you and your husky. They need to be able to communicate with you and you need to be able to communicate with them. Remember, I haven't said this much, but eye contact is insanely important throughout this whole process. If your dog breaks eye contact with you at all, be sure to take the treat, put it up to your face and say, focus, stay, stay. Stay, stay. One, two, three, four, five. Good dogs. And basically that's all you guys need to know when it comes to teaching <coughs> your Siberian Husky, good boy. Good girl. How to 
stay. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. This is a process that takes time. It takes practice. You guys are going to have to be patient with your Huskos because it, you know, this thing, it's, it's, it's routine. These little tiny baby steps, it's gonna take you weeks to get right here. But once you're right here, you can do so much because stay is such an important element to a dog's trick list, especially a Husky. It could be a life saving tool. So be sure to teach this to your Husky if you have one. As always guys, I really appreciate you watching. I really do. I hope you enjoy the content. If you really enjoyed the episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And as always, I'd appreciate it. I'd be humbled if you'd subscribe to the channel and that way you get all sorts of free tricks and tips on how to raise a Siberian Husky. Thanks so much as always guys for watching. I really appreciate you. I'll see you next time with whatever I make. Peace! Ba da ba da ba ba boo! Ba da ba da ba boo!